friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India let us observe these small incision cataract surgery the eyeball is pushed downward with the help of a muscle hook the superior rectus tendon is pinched and a suture is passed underneath the superior rectus tendon this brittle suture is very much necessary for surgeons who are not doing SICS regularly and for the ophthalmology residents. Now after placing the superior rectus brittle suture the next step is peritomy. Conjunctival peritomy is done for about 3 clock hours or two and a half clock hour from 11 o'clock in this case from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock about two clock hours I'm trying to take conjunctiva and tenons together but sometimes it doesn't come tenons is very thick in some cases like in this case tenons was very thick and I have incised the conjunctiva first and now this is the tenons layer see how thick it is but we have to expose the sclera for doing the corneoscleral tunnel the sclera has been exposed and now this, this is the tenons on the right side it has to be excised to expose the sclera and now very mild wet field cautery is done touch and come up don't remain on the surface of the sclera with the probe do very mild wet field cautery just a mild hemostasis is all that we need so in this case we have done conjunctival peritomy for about two clock hours from 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock and this is enough and we're going to make an incision of about 5.5 millimeter since the cataract is soft this is more than enough this is a mild frown incision and now the sclerocorneal tunnel is being done with the help of this crescent blade the crescent blade goes to a certain depth goes anteriorly into the clear cornea then it is swept backward and to the left for the tunnel from center to the left side the inner aspect of the tunnel is little wider than the outer aspect of the sclerocorneal tunnel and this is the tunnel on the right side always remember the contour of the eyeball and accordingly do the sclerocorneal tunnel must remember that it is not a flat surface there is curvature and the crescent blade should move accordingly this tenon's tissue is causing some disturbance the it was excised and now this this is a sideboard at round 
eight o'clock and air bubble is injected you can see there is a anterior polar cataract and there is mild obesity of the nucleus beneath the air bubble trypan blue dye has been applied and after five six seconds the dye is washed out and now this is two percent SPMC filling off the anterior chamber the visco is applied over the cornea and this improves visibility and now capsulorexis is to be done in SICS we can do a rexis with the help of a 26 case bent needle cystitum through the side port the anticapsule is incised a capsular tag is raised the capsule is flipped and the tag is guided in such a way that we get a rexis of adequate size and now once the rexis is completed the sclerocorneal tunnel is opened the keratome is taken it goes to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and then the tunnel is opened cut when you go forward and now hydro dissection is done when the rexis is of adequate size like this by hydro dissection itself one equator of the nucleus prolapses out of the capsular bag into the anterior chamber and if the nucleus is rotated either by Simco or by the irrigating cannula the nucleus will come out into the anterior chamber this is a Sinsky hook the nucleus is rotated and it comes out of the bag and now it is in the anterior chamber once it is in the anterior chamber visco must be injected between the corneal endothelium and the nucleus and then between the posterior capsule and the lens mass and now an irrigating vectus is placed just under the anterior capsular rim and the posterior leaf of the wound is depressed and the nucleus gets delivered very smoothly some epinucleus also has been removed by the irrigating vectus and now visco is injected into the anterior chamber and then cortical cleanup is to be done this is a 23 gauze simco when the antechamber is filled up with visco we can use the main wound visco will come out gradually and the antechamber will remain formed now we can go through the side board and remove the remainder of the cortex so inject visco remove the cortex from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock and the rest of the cortex can be removed 
going through the sideboard. Now Visco is injected again. In this case a foldable single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been selected and it is being implanted with the help of a Sinsky hook in this way. The Sinsky hook depresses the optic and the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the Sinsky hook depresses the haptic optic junction and the lens goes into the capsular bag. And now this is removal of visco by this Simco cannula irrigating the anterior chamber as well as the capsular bag and lot of visco comes out. Now the side port is being used to irrigate and aspirate some more visco. Now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now we are towards the end of the surgery. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. And after this, we have to form the anterior chamber very nicely. Here it is. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. And now the conjunctiva has to be opposed to the limbus. This is the superior rectus brittle suture. I pull the superior rectus brittle suture and inject some gentamicin and dexamethasone just behind the superior rectus brittle suture and little bit in front. And then I remove the superior rectus brittle suture. In this case let us see how to put a releasable suture. The releasable suture is placed in this way. The this is teno nylon. And this is being this releasable suture is being applied at the right end of this peritomy because there is a radial cut here the left end doesn't have any radial cut and now this is the way pull the thread and now take three loops in this way. One, two and three. Hold this suture and pull it. And your releasable suture is applied. Now you just have to cut the thread with the needle close to the knot and the long thread this thread it long, keep it longer. Trim it but keep it longer. You just have to pull the long thread and the suture will come out. Now there is a small gap but as soon as we remove the speculum the conjunctiva goes to the limbus. That's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your SICS skills. Be a very good surgeon and give good vision to patients.